G'day and welcome to MW Laser, my name's Matthew. Now in this video we're going to have a look at the material test uh, pattern in Lightburn so that you can test new materials in your machine to find out the optimal cut and power speed settings. We're going to use the MW Laser J750 but uh, this uh, video can be um, related to any of our laser machines including the J630, J750, R960 and R1390 laser machines. Just a little bit about this machine, this is the J750, it has a cutting area of 700 by 500 millimetres. It uses uh, RD Works or Lightburn and has a Lightburn camera mounted in the lid. It has an alloy slat table as well as a honeycomb bed that you can place in there with material pass through front and back. We cool the Recce laser tube which is a 90 to 100 watt, that's a T2 laser, using a SNA 5200 refrigerated cooler. We also have an optional extra which is the uh, Apple Air filter system for our exhaust. It's an air purifier, uses electrostatic filtration, UV filtration, as well as some carbon filters and pre-filters. I'll talk more about Apple Air filter systems in another video. Now MW laser machines use a dual red dot focusing system. When the two red dots uh, become one by raising or lowering the z-axis, then we know that our laser lens is in focus with the work surface. So to do that on the um, J750, we can press the settings button, which shows the Z move. We press left or right to raise or lower the bed until these two red dots become one. Once those two red dots are one, then we know we're in focus and we can exit. We can also check that using a step gauge if you wanted to, but if everything's set correctly, it makes it for fast, easy visual focusing. So with Lightburn open, some of the first things we're going to do is have a looking over here on the bottom right hand side. We have our start from, we want to set that to user origin and in this case I'm going to use the top left hand uh, starting point. Now we're going to go into laser tools and material test. Now if we preview the default settings we'll see that the power and speed settings, the speed starts at 10 and goes up to 300 and our power starts at 10% up to 100%. This is not necessary so what I'm going to do is we're going to change the count for our uh, rows to 6. We'll start at 10 millimetres per second and we'll go up to 35 millimetres a second. The height that it determines the size of each piece that you're cutting out and in this case, so that we can see it nice and clean, I'm going to show a 10 millimetre square. So you can see now that it's changed at 10 in increments of 5 up to 35% and a power from 10 up to 100%. I don't like to run my laser machine at 100% all the time and um, we will set this down to about 80% as our maximum. We'll also have the height and width at 10%. Now the laser doesn't normally fire under about 12% but we're going to leave the 10% on there and that will give us uh, 7 of those, we'll make that 8 columns. If we preview that now we can see that it's 10 to 35 speed and from 10 to 80 power. Now what we need to do is edit the material setting. For our cutting we want to have this set to line but we don't need to worry about power and speed, we just need to check that air assist is on. That is if your machine is using a dual air assist system. With the J750 we have a dual air so we can control air on or off. Uh, with the J630 the air is on constantly but you can control the pressure using the gauge on the front. You edit the text setting, this is just the engraving setting. We just make sure that's set to fill and we can set the speed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the laser and we're going to cut this. Now there is extra noise in the workshop so hopefully you can hear me. Now we're going to start our test pattern. What I've done is I've placed the um, laser head up in the top left hand corner. I press the origin button or on our controller it's a target button in the middle of the cursor keys and that sets the laser position ready for us to start our material test cut. Now normally I would have the uh, door shut, our machine does not um, operate with the door open and on the J750 there is no door override. So that you can video it, I'm disabling that door, but uh, normally the machine will not operate without the door closed. 
So now on that um, material test generator in Lightburn, we press start. Now we're going to start that, but then I'm also going to start the Apple air filter, so there will be a bit of noise in the workshop. What it's doing here, it's engraving the power and the speed settings so that we can uh, see what they, they are when it cuts out. So now it's cutting out at uh, 10 uh, percent power, 20 percent power at uh, 10 millimeters per second. And you can see it increases um, in power as it goes along. Then the next row will be cutting at a speed of 15 and then slowly increasing in power. This row is cutting at a speed of 20. Five millimeters per second. And this last row is cutting at thirty five millimeters per second. So we can see here on this material test piece that um, we can cut at 25 millimeters per second at around about 40% power. We can already go, obviously go slower, even 10 millimeters a second at 30% power. Um, or if we wanted to, we could uh, go a little bit more power just in case sometimes when you look at the back of the material it hasn't quite cut through. So that's how you do a material test um, pattern in Lightburn and you would do the same for the different types of material you have so that you can see what power and speed settings you start at for each piece of or each type of material. If you have any questions about any of our ma machines you can contact us at sales at mwlaser.com.au